the music on. <laughs> should do that. <laughs> Just getting things set up. Do 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 do. Gonna put on some music. Do do do. -do. Just trying to get my little com thing to work. There we go. All right. Just mess with the setting real quick. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. good. Alright, hello everybody. Welcome to Inky Inspiration. My name is Jeremy. Let's put this a little bit closer here. There we go. I hope you're all having a good Friday today. trying to figure out what I'm going to do today exactly. I kind of have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure. Hi Joe, today I am drawing a drippy moon, <laughs> well it's going to be like a big crescent moon, I'm going to have like things dripping off of it, I want to put like a whole bunch of bubbles kind of rising up from the background, like a lava lamp kind of thing in the background, and then like, um, I guess I'll just show you, I have, this is my little, um, this is my my crib notes for drawing and in this I have like whenever I get a drawing idea I put it in here um, like a little sample so yeah so what I want to do is I want to do this kind of pattern and uh, I want this kind of dripping down off of the the moon right here dripping down here and then dripping off the bottom of it too and then in the background, I want to do something kind of like this, um, like rising up. So I'll have that, um, I'll have the, uh, that kind of dichotomy, like the moon dripping down, but the bubbles going up kind of thing. Um, I think it should look cool. Hmm. But we'll see, we'll see what it how it turns out. I have all my little ideas in this booklet. Just like different lines and patterns that I can use sometimes. 
Or this one, which is just like a group of guys with big noses. I don't know. I think I like the mushrooms and stuff. Tentacles. I don't know what you'd call this. They're like, I guess like, like frog eggs. Like a membrane, maybe. I don't know. Um, various kinds of like plant life. And rocks and stuff. This is kind of the one that I came up with um, actually after I did my stream on um, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. I <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is a little hoarse today. I thought this would be a cool pattern to do. Um, this is space for more drawings. I guess this was originally, I guess, a notebook for you to draw comics in, but I've found it more useful to kind of compartmentalize my my samples for myself. <clears throat> oh man, excuse me. So how's your Friday been, Joe? Did you get a lot done today with your uh, with your um? Uh, setting up your thing, or have you been work? Have you worked on your your piece yet? My Friday has been great, thanks. Today, we actually had a college trip to the Harry Potter Warner Bros. studio where all the Harry Potter movies were filmed. How's my Friday so far? Well, it's not as exciting as going to Hogwarts. I'll tell you that much. Um, my Friday has been okay. Uh, our plan didn't quite go as we wanted to. Um, my wife took the day off and we were going to go down to get our names changed, our last names. Um, but when we, we planned to get there, we got there about 45 minutes before it opened, figuring that that was enough time we would get like ahead so as soon as they opened we could be right there. Um, so we got there really early and there was a line wrapped around the building. Um, so. We didn't. We ended up just uh, not doing that. We can mail everything in, I believe. So I think we'll just do that. It just would have been nice to have got to uh, to do it today. But. You know, that's pretty neat. I can't believe my school never went to uh, any movie studios. And I got a film degree. I mean, you think that's something that would apply. <laughs> When I wasn't living in Germany, though, I did go into the uh, movie studio where Never Ending Story was filmed. So that was interesting. Let's see. It was really cool seeing all of the concept art and everything. Yeah, it sounds pretty neat. You know, they almost got Terry Gilliam to direct one of the... Um, one of the Harry Potter movies, but um, 
it didn't go through. But imagine how crazy that would have been. Probably a lot darker if I had to imagine. You're liking the look of this drawing already? Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah, I'm planning on making it fairly complicated just by adding more and more of it, lots of overlapping and stuff. Hopefully that'll look cool. Can you hear the music okay? Um, I changed my uh, microphone up. I switched it to a more direct mic. Um, uh, so it's, um, man, I can't remember all the names of the different types of microphone. I had it set on cardio earlier, but um, I'll turn it up a little bit. You'll let me know if that's better. It's one of my favorite songs on this playlist. Much better? Okay, good. Now, this is the only microphone I have, so when I was playing, um, when I was, uh, on my PS4 last night with some of my friends, I brought this down to plug in so I could uh, talk to them. And I uh, switched its function form. I just didn't switch it back. I forgot, forgot about it. Tonight, my friends and my brother, and I think my cousin and her boyfriend are coming over, um, and I'm going to be uh, leading the second part of the D&D uh, &D campaign that I started with them, so I'm looking forward to that. Sounds like fun. Have a good time. Well, thank you. I'm going to actually be having them transported to a different world, a city that's all about books. It's called Bookholm. It's actually from a book that I read once. Um, there's this German author named uh, Walter Moore. I really like his stuff. It's kind of fantasy, but he like he's created his own world called. Zamonia, I think it's what it's called. But anyway, in, in this particular book, this like the um, all the books you write, it takes place in the same kind of world, the same land, but they don't necessarily have anything to do with one another. But in this one, it's about a city that's all. It's like imagine like libraries like built on top of each other, and each time one crumbles, they build another one on top of that so it's this city that's all focused about books and underneath it is this vast cavern system this vast dungeon it's like lined with bookshelves and old crumbling books and uh, things like that 
there's these people called book hunters who go down there to try to find rare and and uh, um, expensive books. They fight with each other and fight with the monsters that live down there. There's somebody called, I think he's called the Master of Shadows who lives down in the caves. And uh, nobody really knows anything about him. Although the character in the book meets him later on. He turns out to be an okay person. <laughs> it's a pretty good... It's a, all of his books are very interesting. And the thing that I really like is he does his own illustrations for them. And they're very detailed pictures. Um, it might be worth taking a look at them just for just for his illustrations alone because he does he has a really nice art style I really like it and all his books are just really interesting they're like really interesting stuff happens in them um Um, I think it's I think it's spelled like that Walter Moore um, one of the one of his books is called the Alchemaster's Apprentice and it's about this kind of um, it's basically like an intelligent cat that can talk. He's the last of his kind. And he lives inside this city where the Alchemaster like rules over it and the Alchemaster is terrible. And he hates people and he um he regularly makes diseases and stuff that he sends down onto the people in the town to make them sick. Just cuz he's a mean guy. Um but that one has some of the most interesting drawings in it because, um, I mean, not only do you have like all of his like his potions and his lab like that, but in that book, the Alchemaster is also an accomplished chef, and so he makes these like extremely crazy and decadent meals uh, for the for the cat. Um, and so there's some really interesting uh, pictures uh, that go along, like fancy meals that have been set out. It's all rainy here today. It's kind of gross out. Uh, you know what? Instead of doing that, I'm just going to... Hello Evening Zephyr, how are you doing today? I hope your Friday is treating you well. I actually did not change my name. Um, we, uh, we tried to get to, the, we got to the courthouse uh, f about 40 minutes before it opened. So we were trying to get there early so we could get in before a line formed 
Um, but when we got there, we got there really, we got there early before it opened, and there was already a line of people stretching around the building. Um, so we just decided to to not do it today. We didn't want to spend our whole day waiting, standing in line. So we're just going to mail everything to them. Um, which should be fine. It'll just take a little bit longer. We wanted to get it done today, but just didn't want to, you know, stand in line all day. You sold your first drawing the other day? That's awesome. And no, you did not tell us that, but that's that's amazing. Good for you. I'm sure that feels nice. <laughs> I'm sure it's a wonderful feeling. Uh, which drawing was it? Could you like put a link in the chat so we can see it? Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks amazing, man. Well, excellent. Good work for you. Evening Zephyr is right. Your art is crazy. Well, hopefully this is just the start and you'll be selling a lot more. And then one day we can can say, oh, that guy.
in the process of trying to get prints made might do a limited run of three of my designs with ten prints each that would be pretty cool Still waiting on the print of mine that you ordered? Who? I'll look at I'll look into the website and see if they haven't sent it yet. Um, maybe it's because you're across across the pond that it's taking a while. But um, I'll make myself a note and I'll look into it later today. Oh, okay, you do have a tracking number? Okay, well, that's good. I've been uh, getting cuttings and stuff from magazines, getting ready for uh, when I hit that 10 viewer mark. Getting ready for the collage. Oh, Zapper says, you'll sell some originals in the future as well, I'm sure. Well, thank you for that, those positive thoughts. I figure as long as I just keep making stuff, eventually, Eventually, people will start seeing it. <laughs> My cat sticking his paw under the door. <laughs> huh? All right, I'll let him in. He's just gonna jump up here, though. Hello, peanut butter. How you doing? Just don't walk on my compute computer, okay? And we'll all be peachy keen. Oh man, I should have done this drifty part in a different color. Now I'm thinking about it. Don't walk on my computer. Alright. <laughs> I like having my cats with me, but I don't like it when they uh, step in on my keys and get everything messed up.
Zephyr, did you say that you're feeling tired this morning? Or, I guess it's not morning for you. I guess it's late afternoon for y'all. You said you were feeling tired. Sometimes I find I have my best ideas when I'm, when I'm like, sleepy. I wonder why that is. It's like putting your, your mind going into a relaxed state lets you, uh, lets it kind of drift as you think about everything that happened in your day. You haven't been getting enough sleep lately? Well, that's no good. Have you just been having trouble sleeping? Or is it just like you've been staying up late? Let's see. Yeah, I always think my ideas are great when they come to me right before sleep. And then in the morning they make no sense. <laughs> Well, sometimes the ideas that make no sense are the best ideas of all. Do you keep a little notebook by the side of your bed so you can write down everything you think of before you go to sleep? That's what I do. Actually, I actually have a couple notebooks. I, I swear, I have notebooks and like sketch pads and stuff all over my room. Once I wrote down an idea for a comic and it literally just said a golden retriever stares at me. <laughs> it could work, who knows? I mean, I'm sure you'd have to add a little bit more to it than just that, but... <laughs> Yeah, I'm the same as Zephyr. Been trying to get into poetry late, later or lately, and I think of lines just I'm falling asleep and writing them down. I wake up and I feel like a maniac reading what I've written. Yeah, tell us more. Tell us some of the stuff that you've written down. Sorry if I miss anything in the stream, my internet has gone super slow, so it's stuck buffering for now. That seems to happen to at least one person every time. Maybe there's some sort of like demon programming inside of Twitch that makes it's like You watch, you, you log into Twitch and it starts siphoning up your, uh, your internet power. I'm giving it all to Amazon. I just have no idea how to do poetry, but I'm committed to working it out. Well, that's good. Practice, practice, practice. 
If all else fails, you could always move on to doing like beat poetry, like the beatniks of, of uh, what was that, the 60s, 50s? When they were kind of like almost Dadaist type poetry. much poetry myself really conspiracies and it could be Amazon owns twitch so they use it to uh, monitor us so they can know what what to sell us with their targeted ads I just found out yesterday actually that um Facebook owns Instagram I didn't know that um, so that was kind of a kind of a shock by the way this isn't beer even though it's in a beer glass it's actually just uh, cream cream soda <laughs> Facebook bought Instagram a year ago I mean I haven't been using it for a while I only just started on Instagram not too long ago, so they messed it up in no time. What did they change that was so different? Ads and suggestions and sponsored content and algorithm. I guess I could definitely see that as annoying, but I guess it's also a free app, so I guess they have to get make their money somewhere. Not like Facebook makes enough money as it is. The search page changed a lot. It's all about big and popular accounts now. That's true. That always kind of bugs me when I go onto the search page is that it always shows me things that already have like thousands of likes and stuff and I find that annoying. I always scroll down to, I scroll, I usually go to the part where it's uh shows the most recently added things um, 
That way it's not like it doesn't matter how many likes they have, I'll be able to see it. See, I think we need some more drippies over here. This pot doesn't seem to have or be as be as dense. You know, I think I'll put one more here on the side too. You can follow hashtags now, so that helps small accounts a little too. There's still things about Instagram that I haven't quite figured out yet. It keeps asking me to change my profile into a business profile, but it wants me to link it up to Facebook page. Which I was like, okay, cool. I mean, I have an Inky Inspiration Facebook page, not a problem. But when I go through it to, to, to link it up, instead it always wants me to create a new Facebook page. So I'm it confuses me. I don't want to create a new page and then link to that. There's a lot of stuff about Twitch that I still need to learn too. There's um, actually a lot of different things you can put on here. Um, I know that some people have custom little emotes um, that you can that they make, and when you subscribe to their their channel, you get to use the emotes that they made. And there's like three different tiers of subscriptions to a channel. Um, and a subscription is different than following and what else there's like little you can make it play little videos when people follow or subscribe or donate money um, it's all stuff I need to learn and set up if I want to be serious That's interesting. I had a page and I switched to a business account without that problem. I then hated it and switched back to personal account and deleted my Facebook completely. Why did you hate it so much? Setting up Twitch is really complicated, but you'll get there. Oh, well, thank you. I think we may have lost Joe. His internet connection might have cut out. I didn't like feeling like a brand. No, that makes sense. I personally just don't like Facebook, honestly. I, I feel like it creates a negative environment. Which is weird if you think about it, because all it is is just people trading their thoughts on things. Maybe it's just I don't like people's thoughts on things. <laughs> Yeah. 
that too I really wanted to be rid of Facebook for good and the only reason I, I, I keep my Facebook account is because I use the messenger app on my phone a lot still and um, it's convenient but I don't go onto my Facebook I don't post things to it. I post things to the Inky Inspiration Facebook page now, but um, that's really that's really it. Social media in general makes me feel anxious, I think. But I also feel like I can't not use it because it's because everybody uses it. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one then. I want to leave this area kind of blank, you know, have it kind of look not blank, but like not fill it up too much. I think it's good to have some empty space in there. Put a really long one right here. It looks great with the blank space. We'll get, yeah, I feel like a little bit of blank space is probably good. I think that's enough drips for the top part of the moon. Let's move down to the bottom part. Oh, oh there's this other confusing thing on Twitch. Is like you can buy cheers and you like give them to people, and I'm not sure I understand the point of it. Like you pay a dollar fifty. And you get like a pack of, I don't know, 200 cheers. And you can give them to people on any number, like any amount that you want. And I don't understand it. I don't think it gives the people you give them to, I don't think it gives them any money. It just seems strange to me. <laughs> you have no idea? Yeah. It's something I, I learned about watching another uh, streamer. Do you have any big plans for the weekend coming up? I heard you get rewards for such things, but I could be wrong. I don't know. It's something I'll have to look more into, I guess.
I'll call my agent and have them get on it. Are you laughing because that's what you're already doing? <laughs> you don't have to be if you don't want to. My wife is my agent. She uh, helps me with the big decisions. But the cool thing I want to... Like, I, I do like the idea of that people make their own little e emote faces and that you can unlock them. Um, and that's kind of a cool idea. Hey, according to Twitch, I have five viewers right now. That's pretty cool. Hello, everybody. If you're watching, I appreciate it. How's your day going? Hope everybody's Friday is amazing so far. And I hope it only gets better. Some people sub for emotes too. Yeah, I was, um, I saw that on somebody's page. Well, I got a free Amazon Prime account, or I got a free Twitch Prime account because I have an Amazon Prime account and you get one free subscription with that so I subscribe to a uh, artist that I like and I guess I unlocked his emotes that I can use but I have to say they're not very handy ones they're not they're not super helpful at conveying emotion they're all just him kind of looking goofy I wonder if I can put them on here oh I don't know how oh well but that would be something cool maybe I can make some emotes of my own so if people subscribe they can unlock them that'd be pretty neat I don't know what I would do um, what I would do for them. I don't know. What if I drew like tiny little monsters? Like cute little monsters. excited about this I put a um, I put uh, underneath my video page right here if you look underneath it I put links to my Instagram and to my store on there I like, drew some little pictures for them um, I don't know makes me feel fancy like I've uh, <laughs> like I've done something to legitimize myself as he said, I highly recommend, to be honest, it'll surely attract more viewers if you set up your Twitch channel fully. Yeah, you're right. I've tried to figure out how to do it, and it just, I've gotten confused, and I got confused and I quit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I also put on a little map thing, so it shows uh, where the vi where all the viewers are. are. I figured since I had so many people watching from different countries that it would be neat to see them all on the map there.
Yeah, but I'm just gonna have to like buckle down and figure out all the ins and outs of how it all works. That way, uh, I don't know, make my make my my stream seem more legitimate. It's a step-by-step -step process. <laughs> My channel is evolving already. Well, thank you. Slowly but surely, I'm working on it. Well, I was telling Joe before uh, before you logged on, but this piece is going to be mostly made out of um, things from my uh, sketchbook. You have names that end with the word moon in Turkish? Well, that's pretty cool. What are some of them? Bright Merry Moon. That would definitely be an interesting name. I guess there's the name Luna. That's uh, that translates into moon. Hmm, it's not very common. No. So this drippy moon has been making because it sounds like someone's name. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad my parents did not name me Drippy Moon. I feel like I'd be, I'd be at the uh, name change. I'd, I'd, I'd change my name for. Oh. This is my son, Drippy Moon. Oh, what's going on with my stream? It's become all pixelized. Oh my gosh, it's just like a big blob. Still but be still better than Moon Moon. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if more people are being named Luna since there was a character in Harry Potter named Luna that apparently everybody loves. Oh. My wife's looking it up right now to see if that's true. I think I saw the movies with her in it. popular name in Europe? Yeah, like in the Netherlands, in Germany, Spain, and Portugal. Okay. 
So Luna is a popular name in Europe, not so much here in America. But so I guess other countries name their kids Moon. Probably more popular after Harry Potter. Yeah. I guess it's it's also better than naming your kid Spoon. <laughs> Spoon. <Yeah>. Spoona. Geez, some people here actually name their kids after objects. I've heard of that. I've heard that as like a naming trend. Not here, but in some parts of Turkey. Like naming your kid oven. Stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. But you know, yeah, you know what? I can't really um, I can't really mock other people's naming their kids weird things, because our first kid, his name is Zero, you know, spelled like the number zero. I mean, it's totally it seems totally normal to me now, but every once in a while I realize that. It is kind of a, a, a different name, a unique. It sounds like a superhero name. Well, thank you. <laughs> I think the original inspiration for the name came from the movie Nightmare Before Christmas. There's the ghost dog in it. His name is Zero. I love learning about other people's names and hearing unusual names. some interesting ones out there. Don't you have a kid in your class that has a weird name? No. Oh, okay. I had a friend when I was little, her name was California, because that's where she was born. And I guess her parents had no imagination. We all called her Callie. Yeah. Her middle name was the county that she was born in. Maybe it was special to them. Yeah. If we did that, our kids' name would be Texas Bear. <laughs> You're right. I probably shouldn't be making judgments. It probably was special to them. You know, especially because their kid was named it. <laughs> 
Um, what I find kind of interesting is kids who are named America. Um, I've heard that a couple times. Oh, it's so wet and rainy here today. I don't like it. America, America Ferrera. Oh, yeah. I think she's from Texas. Who is that? She was in the... Um, she's in this movie about pants, like the Traveling Pants movie. The Sisterhood of Traveling Pants? Something like that? She's an actress. Okay. What if we name our next kid Batman? Oh, Zephyr says she's an ugly Betty. I think I watched one or two episodes of it. I just couldn't stand the way like the people were so mean to each other. I just I couldn't watch it. Do you watch a lot of the uh, Do you watch a lot of American TV? Oh, you didn't watch it at all. No, you watch a lot of British TV. Oh, that's right. You said you watch a lot of BBC. But of course, I grew up with Friends, like most people. I never watched Friends, actually. I don't think I've ever watched it. I've, I've never seen a whole episode of it. I've seen bits and pieces of some of them. But um, I've never watched a whole one. This never seemed like my kind of show. <laughs> oh, now we are no longer friends? Ugh, that's such a Rachel thing to say. Is that a character from Friends? It's a You know who this picture is? This like little person? This emote? I don't really recognize them.
I have no idea, but he suits to most of my moods. <laughs> I'm guessing maybe he is like somebody who worked f on Twitch. Maybe he's the person who owns Twitch. Or, well, no, I guess that would be the CEO of Amazon. But. Yeah, maybe he was somebody who like worked on it. Could be. Okay, well that's it for that part of the drippy things. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a pattern inside of the uh, the moon itself now. I guess Joe really did have a problem with his computer because he's gone. Josh DeCino. It doesn't ring any bells. I'm trying to think, should I use the light gray or the dark gray? Light gray, dark gray. I think I'll go with light gray. Might be good. I think I'm going to do a pattern kind of like this, or do this pattern inside of the moon itself. And these are the drips that I'm doing. I'm going to go back in and do the details inside of them in a little bit. Oh, Joe's back. Yeah, I figured that you just had some problem with your computer. Well, it's nice to have you back for as long as you're able to stay. <laughs> Joe, did you ever watch the TV show Friends? I'm fearing that I'm an anomaly for I've never watched a whole episode of it. Watched it a couple times and also visited the actual building of it when I was in New York. Oh. Well, that's cool. What have I been watching recently? Um, oh, Joe, you said you were a fan of the IT crowd, right? Um, have you watched Travel Man? It's something I'm watching right now. I 
I want to say the name of the actor in it, but I'm afraid that I will uh, say his last name wrong and be embarrassed. Aowa, Ri Richard Aowata. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching through that right now. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I enjoy his acting. He's a funny guy. I guess after I finish watching Travel Man, I'll have to watch his other one, Gadget Man. Let's see. Oh, also, my wife and I just finished this series on um, on Netflix called Mind Hunter, about um, the FBI and and uh, like making something about serial killers trying to figure out what serial killers are, what they do, or why they do what they do and stuff. It was interesting. We just finished it a little bit ago, so looking forward to seeing the new season when that comes out. Zephyr, are you doing any drawing today? Or any watercolors? I've done some sketches and I should be drawing right now, but I don't feel like it. Well, if you've already done some today, you don't need to overexert yourself. I think the idea of the stressed out and depressed artist is um, wildly inaccurate. It's good to take breaks. And also not punish yourself too much for not doing doing everything you can. So don't worry about it. Don't do any drawing right now. It's fine. friends again. Well, that's nice. No. Thank you for being my friend, Zephyr. So you looked up that guy's name. Did it say, like, who he was? Or, like, what he, he did? And why his face is an emote?
you learn that Josh really was a Twitch employee and he created the emote as an Easter egg. Oh, I figured it was something like that, but it's nice to have uh, you know, some backup to my, my ideas. <laughs> Thanks for doing all the research. This is starting to fill up. I'm getting there. I know this light gray is a little white. It makes it or a little. It's so light that it's a little hard for y'all to see on the camera there. I think. I don't know. Let me look at it a little bit closer. Well, not too terribly bad. But. But it'll look better. I'll just keep going. And it'll just look better and better. You like how it looks with the gray? Well, thank you. I wasn't sure what color I should do, but I'm glad the gray seems to be working out. Now I'm trying to think, should I, what should I... I think I'm going to leave the drips white, but like in my picture here, I think I'm going to fill in the bottoms and the tips of them. I uh, need to think of, y'all think of what colors you think would look good for that. Let me know. I mean, I still have to finish filling in the whole moon first, but uh, um, so it'll take a bit before I get over to them, but y'all can be thinking in the meantime. Do them all gray. That could look cool. That sounded too commanding. Do them all gray, darn it. <laughs> no, it's fine. I did not think that you were commanding. I guess I better do them in gray, otherwise I'm afraid that Zephyr might not be friends with me again. <laughs> oh, I'm inclined to believe that Josh put you in charge. I mean, you're the one that looked up who he was. decoded the secret information. <laughs> I am the Josh. <laughs> you merely adopted the Josh. I was born in it. Molded by it.
Also, I hope this doesn't sound offensive, Joe, but I didn't actually believe that British people said bloody hell. I thought that was just like a thing that was made up for TV and stuff. But... <laughs> so I'm kind of interested to see you write it. I guess I've really confirmed the stereotype. <laughs> that wouldn't be too worried about it. I just have a tendency not to believe anything I see on TV until I get actual proof. Welcome. Let's see. Lola. Nice to have you join us today. I hope your Friday is going well. weekend just started. That's good. It is. It's good news. I'm always excited for the weekend. Well, a little less excited now that my kids go to school because that means that they're home all day. <laughs> excited nonetheless. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, well, well where are you? Uh, where are you? located in the world right now. That was a weird way to say that. Um, <laughs> it just, I've, I've come to realize that a lot of people who watch my stream are from uh, other countries. It's interesting to see. From Germany. Awesome. Well, it's always nice to have people from other places tuning in. See. Yeah, so it's probably like around seven, maybe six or seven for you. So I guess yeah, your your weekend really has just started. It's six there. Okay. Ooh, that was close. I'm getting better at this. Well, awesome. That's one more for my little map thing I have down there at the bottom of the uh, bottom of my video. I like to look at it myself, but I can't switch over there right now because I'm af I'm afraid it will like uh, mess up my stream. But it's supposed to have all the where everybody is pinned on that little map there. So what did you do with your day today, Lola? Anything interesting happen? Of course, you're not obligated to respond if you don't want to. <laughs> like to chat.
Mm. This picture's coming along pretty well, I think. I don't know, Joe, you haven't you haven't given your suggestion for what color I should do the little drippy things in. Are you too afraid to comment because of uh, Zephyr's insistence on gray? Oh, let's see, went to work. And usually I plan to go to soccer stadium tonight, but it's cold and wet and I'm sure we will lose and there will be a lot of fans fights, so I'm staying home. Uh oh. <laughs> well, yeah, it's cold and wet here today too. So probably a good idea just to stay home. Maybe get some warm like some hot cocoa or something. Just enjoy your enjoy your free time, I guess. <laughs> Let's see, Joe says you're thinking maybe a light orange mixed with a gray would work, like those videos of people making stuff with molten glass. Oh yeah, like a like a like glass blowing kind of things. I mean they don't blow up like a balloon, but yeah. That could be interesting. Zephyr says we already established the color. <laughs> Joe says sorry, I meant to say gray. <laughs> well, Joe, what what if I do the uh, the background kind of lava lamp design I was talking about earlier? I could do uh, orange for that one. Well, can I ask what part of Germany you're in? Uh, I used to live near Munich um, for a couple years. And we have another viewer who, uh, she's on here sometimes today, she's busy, but she's from Berlin. Oh, Frankfurt. Okay. I went there a couple times. You don't think you don't think where you live is nice? <laughs> What's wrong with it? Oh, you work in Frankfurt and you live outside of it. on the countryside. Well, that sounds good. I used to live um, up on top of a mountain in a, like, a tiny little village, so um, it was just like countryside all around me. It was pretty amazing. There were more cows than there were people in our town. Um, and during the summertime, there was a cow pasture right across from our house, so we see them every day. Sometimes we would have to uh, stop our car when we were driving down the hill to go anywhere because the cows were being led um, to or from their house, their cow house. Um, and they would just like walk around your car they would like <laughs> they would like walk over into like the neighbor's garden and start eating their grass 
and the little old lady who was like watching them would come over and hit them until they kept moving. I don't think she would hit them hard. She just had like a like a branch kind of, but just a, <laughs> it was always an interesting sight, to say the least. But I liked the countryside. Joe, you live in the country too, right? I think I remember you saying that. And Zephyr, you said you wanted to live in the country. I need to get myself some like really thin gloves or something. My fingers get cold. Although hopefully not too long, I'll start warming back up here again. Yeah, my geography is not too good when it comes to England, so I'm not exactly sure where Essex is. Essex. I want to say it's somewhere... In the m middle. <laughs> Maybe I should have looked it up last time you, uh, although that might have been a little creepy. I feel like this song's kind of creepy sounding. Sounds like somebody's sneaking around. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this picture today. Um, See, it's already 11. Oof. Just because I do have a few things I need to get done. And my wife is home from work, so I'll take the opportunity to spend time with her. I guess it could be like the jellyfish one and I'll split it into two episodes as it were. Um, So, whoa, why are you so sure that your uh, that your uh, football team is going to uh, is going to lose? Huh? I did. I didn't mean to, but I want to say that that's how they say it in German. Fußball. And then we just appropriated the word for the, like the little foosball game. The one they play against is really good. I guess that makes sense. You always lose against them. Isn't that part of sports though? Like you, you support your team no matter what, even if they stink. All your good players are sick and damaged. All right, you've convinced me. I'm pretty sure your team's going to lose. Yeah. 
and say, yes, I'm used to them being bad, but not at 8.30 p.m. in four degrees and rain. <laughs> no way. I know that sometimes soccer fans can get pretty violent okay, when they get worked up. You really respect all the fans going there. You're really making that commitment. They're uh, sitting in the rain at night, in the cold, nearly freezing. All right, now I really want to make sure that I. Is foosball how you say it? Uh oh, I'm getting a warning that um going on okay now let's drop that oh sorry guys one second if you can hear me what's going on You can hear me now. Okay. I don't know what's happening. Like, um, this never was a problem before, but it started yesterday that my streaming software just got too much for my CPU to handle. But now it's back down again. It like jumped up to a uh, ninety percent of my CPU being used up, and when that happens, it like just screws with everything. But um, I'm just looking to see if there's any kind of like extra program got onto my computer that's messing with it, but I can't see anything right now. Okay, well, sorry about that. Can you all hear me now? Lola, can you hear me? Zephyr? Joe says I can. he can hear me. Lola can hear me. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Zephyr can hear me. Awesome. Thank you all for uh, responding so quickly to that. I don't know what 
the deal was. Hey Lola, if you're interested, um, underneath the video there is a button you can hit and it'll take you to my Instagram page. You can see all the stuff I do. I put I put the stuff I do on here, or that I do in my stream on there, but I also put other things, um, other pieces I've worked on and stuff. And also it's an easy way to get, uh, to tell people when I'm going to be starting my stream and whatnot. Although there is a, uh, there should be also a, a, like a little calendar, little timer thing underneath the video as well that you can look at to see when my next one is going to be. Pretty much every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at the same time. I start at 9 o'clock my time, but for y'all that's 5 or 4. I gotta erase all this pencil lines and mess with my. Oh, hello, Kandira. How are you doing today? Your friend's not feeling well? I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully, they'll get better sometime soon. You can go visit them. Oh, Kandira, we have somebody else from Germany today. Uh, Lola on here. She lives just outside of Frankfurt. Oh, but she's going. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Lola. Thanks for joining us today. I'm probably going to end this stream with or at the top of the next hour, so I might not be on when you get back from your grocery shopping, but please feel free to join us again on Monday. Um, I'd love to have you. Today is a good day. I have a place for an internship. Oh, awesome. Go you. Where are you going to be doing your internship at? some a living group of four people with special needs sounds like it's difficult but I bet it's a great learning experience for what you're studying right now Awesome. That's great news. You should go out with your friends this weekend and celebrate, but responsibly. <laughs> it's perfect. I like this place. Well, cool. Well, man, today's just the day for great news, then. <laughs> I 
Joe here was telling us that he sold one of his pictures um, earlier. So it sounds like everybody's having a pretty good day, more or less. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Um, I wasn't able to get my name changed today, which is too bad, but it'll happen eventually. But my wife's home from work today, so after this we get to hang out, and that's nice. Get to relax. Um, this evening my friends are coming over to play D&D, so I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> oh no, Zephyr. <laughs> I had nut butter on toast today. What kind of nut was it? Almond? Peanut butter? Nutella? Inquiring minds want to know. That's one of my favorite sayings. Oh, Kandira, why did I change? need to change my name? Well, um... My wife and I got married in um, November, right? Yeah. Um, got married in November, and um, so we're taking each other's last names, so we're like hyphenating them. And the reason that is is because um, I want... Uh, my kids to have the same last name as me and I also want to keep my family's name so I'm just gonna do both oh you don't feel so bad uh, Zephyr we'll keep you company mr. and mrs. Inky <laughs> she thinks that's funny I think we still have a big jar of Nutella somewhere in the house, right? Nutella's not really one of my favorite things. The kids like it. Oh, well, thank you, Kandira. I'm glad you like it. Hopefully the more detail I add, the better it'll look too. So guys, if I was to make my own little emotes for uh, my viewers, what should I make them? I mean, obviously I should draw, draw them myself, but like, what should they be? Fact about me, I'm severely allergic to peanuts and if I eat them, I'm at high risk of death. Fun fact for the day. Well, that must suck. Peanuts are in like lots of stuff. Is it just peanuts or is it all kinds of nuts? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Just no peanuts. I guess that cuts down your options when it comes to Thai food a lot, huh? Oh, man. <laughs> I'd fight all the peanuts so that they can never hurt you. Well, that's nice. Tend to avoid Thai food as a whole since it's a really big risk. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Joe, did you ever watch the TV show Father Ted? I know it wasn't a British show, I think it was from, I think it was Irish, but uh, I think they still showed, they showed it on BBC. Um, I think it was like the Christmas special or something like that where he has a dream where he's being attacked by peanuts like giant peanuts are chasing him over the hills and stuff was a good show though I don't know I don't know how I ever found out about it but but it was enjoyable Now I'm thinking about all these great BBC shows I used to watch when I was younger, and I'm also just realizing that y'all can't even see what I'm doing because my picture was out of frame, and then I need to go back and watch. I like Black Adder, that one was really funny. Uh, yeah, I've been stung by a bee. I actually got stung by a bee. Was it? Was that on our wedding day? Yeah, I got stung by a bee on our wedding day. Um, filling up the car with gas. When I was little, my brother got stung by a bee. And he pulled out the stinger, and and then later he stepped on it on his other foot. So he got stung twice by the same bee. How have y'all never been stung by a bee? There's so many of them. I guess you're just lucky. I 
I would not say that it hurts that much. Oh, Kandira disagrees with me. I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah, it would definitely be bad if you were allergic. And that's how you found out. You were stung a lot. What happened? Did you like knock over a beehive or something? Were you trying to steal all their honey? Or was it you've just been stung a lot on different occasions, not all at once? I was an active child and eat a eat a lot of ice cream outside. Okay. So you were a delicious target. You have a twin brother, Zephyr? That's pretty interesting. Are y'all identical twins or just is it fraternal twins? Well, I guess you can't be identical twins if he's your brother. nice. Tell him I say hello. Yeah, don't forget, don't forget Joe. What you working on? Good. Well, I think I want to go off at twelve, and we can get some lunch.
Man. Circles, 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 drawing lots of circles. Uh, she makes art sometimes. She's pretty decent at drawing, although she doesn't like to say so. And she's really good at singing, but she won't admit it. But I think what she does best is she likes to uh, sew. And she can make pretty great like uh, quilts and things like that. She sews clothes to the boys sometimes. Like I'm getting a hand cramp. Maybe just a little one. It is a good skill to have. She just doesn't get as much free time as she wants to to do the sewing though. The sewing. I know that fabric arts are pretty uh, are pretty popular on Twitch. Maybe she should start a sewing Twitch channel. Although I guess on Twitch a lot of it's um, making like cosplay costumes. I guess cosplay costumes is kind of redundant though. It's like saying ATM machine. Kandira says that you should do it. I guess you have to now. Mm -hmm. Alright, almost finished with the little, uh, I don't know, like craters? Like craters in the moon? Joe, you said you have a girlfriend, right? Does she do art too? I think she was on here one time, right? I don't know. In my old age, my memory is going. That could have been another Joe I'm thinking of. My wife does have free time today. <laughs> but I think right now she just wants to play The Sims and relax. I'm probably making her nervous by talking about her. 
No, okay. Joe says, yeah, I do, and yeah, she does. She actually makes collages. You might like them. And does she have an Instagram account? I would love to take a look. Yeah, I'll take a look at that in a little bit. When I click on the link, it just sends me to Twitch, so um, I'll pull out my Instagram and take a look at it afterwards. <sighs> Yesterday I was trying to do like a, a little Instagram live thing. I was just gonna do like a little doodle or something, but I couldn't get it to work. Um, it was probably my Wi-Fi connection. I just I reset it later that day, but um, She does some creative whimsy stuff. Neat. I feel like you kind of have to like Dadaism if you do um, collages. It's part and parcel. I can't wait to take a look at it. And Dadaism is like, um, what's a good way to describe it? It's like randomness, Dadaism. It's like an art style. It's like randomness for randomness's sake. Just, uh, I think originally it was created as a response to like an overwhelming um, societal pressure and uh, of conformity and kind of answer to that as well. Here's something completely different. I guess you could call like some of Monty Python, some of their sketches are somewhat Dadaist, although it's more, um, I'd say it's more a stream of consciousness. I like talking about art. <laughs> okay, now it's time. I've got these extra blanks here. I'm gonna try to. F I'm just gonna fill those in. I think. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. I just didn't want to leave all that empty space. Empty space there. What kind of music does everybody like? I like a pretty broad spectrum of music. I like this kind of lo-fi music, this kind of um, 
breakbeat stuff. It's relaxing. I like music from video game soundtracks. I like a lot of. I realized I like a lot of music from the '80s. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by new Deutsch heart. Is that just like. Is that like modern music, I guess? Hirt. Hirte. Hirt. Hm. Oh, I see. I like indie music a lot too. Like the Shins and Death Cab for Cutie and um, Modest Mouse. The what is that? Saint Motel. I like I've been listening to them a lot lately. Irish pub music. <clears throat> King Cruel. I've I've not heard of him. I can look him up. I think if I had to pick a favorite band though, it would probably be this like kind of obscure American band called They Might Be Giants. I just really like their music ever since I was little. Gregory and the Hawk. I've not heard of them either, but it does sound interesting.
there's this other kind of music that I like. I'm not sure how to explain what it is, though, really. Um, I guess I would say a hard electronic. Maybe. All right. Moon's looking good. <sighs> Cold. All right. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write down. I. I was kind of focusing there, but I'm going to write down all these names you're saying. I don't think I've heard of many of them. Let's see. King Cruel. Gregory. And the Hawk. Near death. Cool. Well, it looks like I have some things to listen to this weekend then. Alright, uh, right, then that one too. Oh, okay, I see what you. Meredith is the lead singer of. Greg Green Hawk. Let's see. I like the new porno pornographers. I've been listening to them a lot. Well, anyway, y'all, thank you for the suggestions. I'll got some stuff I need to listen to. I think I'm going to call it a day for now. Um, I think this is turning out pretty good so far. On Monday, we'll uh, I'll work on adding the details to the drips. Maybe I'll put even some I'll put some more drips on there too, um, to kind of fill it out. And I'll fill it in the middle part or fill it in with the gray, and then I'll do the background. And I think um, I think Joe, I think the orange might look pretty good as the background. I definitely feel like it needs some sort of color in it. Um, but anyway, I think it looks pretty good. Well, thank you, Zephyr. All right, guys. Well, I will, um, I guess I'll see you on Monday, same time. Um, and, uh, until then, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Joe, awesome that you sold a picture. Kendira, awesome that you got that internship. Um, I hope you guys have a lovely time. Thank you for watching, as always. I do really appreciate it. Um, tell all your friends if they like art and they can join on here. I like having big conversations, and the more people, the merrier. Well, <laughs> I guess that was my uh, shameless self-promoting. All right. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>